Videos of students shouting, Mongolian is our mother language, and storming school grounds are circulating on social media. Protests have been held across the northern Chinese province of Inner Mongolia after new education measures were introduced to reduce the use of the Mongolian language in favor of Mandarin, that's spoken nationally. Many parents have withdrawn their children from schools. Some have clashed with the local police. My fellow Mongolians, we may not know one another, but if they arrest one of us, let's all go to the police station. Authorities are offering $150 in return for information on more than 100 of them wanted by police for picking quarrels. Beijing says the protesters have a political agenda, and the new measures only affect certain subjects. The Mongolian language class hours remain unchanged. The textbooks remain the same, the language used for teaching remains the same, and the existing bilingual education system remains unchanged. But activists say the new educational policy will see the region's main language of instruction changed to Mandarin by 2022. The vast grassland province borders Mongolia, where one-fifth of the population is ethnic Mongolian. Mongolian people are worried about uh, their, their uh, language will go extinct, their culture and identity will be wiped out. Um, in the past 70 years, the Chinese uh, government implemented a series of uh, policies uh, eradicating Mongolian language, culture and traditional way of life. Similar changes have taken place in Tibet and Xinjiang, where ethnic languages are now only taught in special classes. The United Nations says minority cultures are being suppressed. Chinese um, Communist Party uh, considers anything other than the um, Communist Party itself as a threat to them. Any organization, any, um, any sort of uh, diversity. China's leaders say promoting the majority Han culture and nationalizing Chinese language provides ethnic minorities with better economic opportunities. But many people are unconvinced and say they fear for the survival of their traditional way of life. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.